Hi, I'm Niels, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to a new episode here on the Hard Life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. Today we are doing something a little different. We are doing a hike, but for this hike we are going to start with a train journey. Walter's first time on a train. Here we are, riding on a local small commuter train. This is the train track down to Grünau im Almtal. I cannot tell you how many times I heard that in the la my first months here in Austria because the track actually was under repair during that time and they did provide a bus service and constantly every half hour there was an announcement about that. It is a very old train here as you can see and the dogs, eh, they did okay. <laughs> Walter more so than our Virginia. Virginia does not like the muzzle that dogs have to wear. Austria is very nice in that, that they allow dogs onto the trains and buses as long as they're on leash and wear a muzzle. So in that there are a lot of opportunities of where we can go. Of course this was their first train ride. We did not want to go too far. We just went to the third stop. The first stop was the Lokalbahnhof in Wells which is right next to where our, where our veterinarian office is located, our vet. Um, of course, sadly, that is the vet office where our beloved Georgia died. The second stop is the exhibit area of Wells, where a good few interesting events take place during the year. We'll have a future video on one of those here shortly. And then this last stop that we exited on. For us, last stop, obviously, the train went on. Shower spell. On the map it looked like a very good decision to take this stop. As you can see here it was everything but that because the train let you out in the middle of nothingness. <laughs> and we thankfully did this on a Sunday when there wasn't a lot of traffic, not a lot of people on the road and we could actually walk along what probably is a quite busy stretch of road on normal days and reach the town of Schauersberg. This is a small suburb of Wells. There are some normal modern apartment buildings, modern subdivisions here, but also the sort of histor or historic section, including actually a church, the so-called Wallfahrtskirche Maria Schauersberg, and we did not go to that. There's also a little power station where they dammed up a river, the Eitersbach. Again, we did not go there yet. We'll do that in a future video. We were just interested in getting here and taking an opportunity to hike. We did slow down up here a little bit near this old manor looking structure because we had a dock in front of us and we kind of wanted to give that dock enough space before we make our way down. So here we are making our way down the hill. Very, very good incline actually. We're going quite down a bit. Uh, if I had let go of the stroller, he would have just tumbled down and we would have had a major accident. Thankfully, we didn't. Here is that little creek, the Eiterbach. 
that also will lead down into the drown later. We will see this creek a number of times in the future again here as we go along. There is some very beautiful housing again in this town. So I'll let this roll for a minute, give you a little bit of a sense of that. Unfortunately, I did not watch the camera enough and the battery eventually gave out on me. Here I'm going to give you a quick view. That is the church up there. Um, somebody's getting his newspaper on Sunday morning there in the car. And now we're going to walk a little bit. I actually had intended to show you some pictures. A lot of the fields here have sort of a bean type growth in them. And it, it seems like those are done to kind of when the farmers don't want to grow a crop on the field to kind of revitalize it, to kind of put nutrients back into the field. That's what it seems like this is. Um, I intended to show you some pictures of that next season, I guess. <laughs> As I said, the camera battery decided to die on me. This is a very nicely developed pass, actually. There are some runners, some bicyclists that we are encountering. This is actually very well-traveled, so it's it's nice to see how here in this edge of Wells and in the surrounding countryside, people are very much physically active, that they're, they're walking, they're biking, and really different shades and ways of life. Like, we ran into an older set of two older women here in what I would call nicer clothing. And then you run into the family out on a bike trail. So very different attitudes that you have on who's using this. Great thing too, you'll see it here in a minute, a little bit of wildlife that does pop up as well. And I don't mean the dogs or the kid in this case, or my wife. I actually mean a little snail that we are almost stepped on there. Well, I've, and I will actually go down. I did not step on this snail, nor did I roll over it with a stroller. But snails and slugs are extraordinarily frequent here especially slugs which people do not enjoy and they're kind of a bit disgusting when they have their slimy pass behind them so now we are headed to where the Eiterbach and the Drown meet. This will get a little bit tricky. Camera movement will be a little off here and there. I apologize for that because we are going to have dogs in front of us. We're going to have dogs behind us. The pass narrows the bridge that we're about to get to. is very narrow and I had to maneuver two dogs and a stroller across it, which was not enjoyable at all. And I got it say. In New Mexico, we oftentimes let our dogs run free. In Georgia, we did as well, but we knew the area and we were aware when people were around us, when people were in front of us, we put them back on leash. We did not let them run free. Of course, we know you don't want to have a strange dog running towards you all of a sudden. One issue that we frequently encounter in Austria, despite there being rules about muzzles, about leashes and all that in trainings, that people have to go through with regard to owning a dog, where this is mentioned and emphasizing what best leash 
collar and a harness to use, a lot of people let their dogs run. For. And it's extremely annoying when you have like somebody who's walking up here, letting their dog run down there and here's a water and you're holding onto two dogs because you don't want to have an incident. You don't want to have there something happen that then gets blamed on your dog and your dog gets a bad reputation, even though the other dog's the one that runs free. It's, it's extremely annoying and extremely offensive and inconsiderate of these other dog owners that they just do that and think their dog is an angel and therefore they can do whatever they want. Not a great thing here for the dogs. Obviously, this is a terrible bridge for them to walk across with that grade. We actually had almost a getting stuck situation with one of the paws. As you can see, they're walking rather awkwardly here. But we made it across and as a reward they are going down to the water here in a second. It was beautiful, it was a very cold river again but the cascading of the water down was very beautiful. Here we go, you get kind of a nice sense here. There's a little bit of a sitting of the water but look at that beautiful flow of the water gushing and rushing down that very small incline really. It's not a lot of space there. Maybe three meters nine feet ten feet in in drop so it's not a lot but gosh it's beautiful with all the rocks and we had to be cautious obviously the rocks being slippery and everything but it's a great opportunity for the dogs to get some water drink some cool off and then we can make our way further on and yes this is the Eiderbach again going into the Traun
So it says we are almost at the end. The Trophas Bridge is right there. We just passed on our left the Talheim by Wells Fire Brigade's uh, boathouse. Most towns in Austria only have volunteer brigades, firefighters, one of those. And because we are a town on a river, both Wells and Talheim by Wells, they of course are also in charge of water rescue. But as the ducks here are escaping, I hope you stayed along and did not make an early exit like them. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned. We are going to have a lot more hiking videos here in our new home in Austria as well as other stuff. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and tell us what you liked about this. And then we'll see you again very shortly with another video here on the hard life of Walter the dog. A new adventure is coming soon.